Hello and welcome back to Hit or Miss Hallmark Movie Reviews. Happy Countdown to Christmas. Only a few more days left of Countdown to Christmas. Can you, you believe, believe it? it? I don't. I don't. I feel like we've been in a whirlwind. It's almost Christmas. I know. <laughs> Today we are reviewing Christmas, Christmas on, on Cherry Lane, Lane starring, starring Jonathan Bennett, Catherine Bell, James Denton, John Brotherton, and Aaron Cahill. Lots of people in this one. So many people. Wow. Uh, the writer here is Rick Garman. Some other credits include Notes of Autumn, Christmas Present, and Christmas at the Drive-In. The director here is Gail Harvey. I think she's mainly known for Virgin River and Sullivan's Crossings, because I don't think I saw any other Hallmark credits on her IMDb. Huh. Yeah. So, what's this one about? Over the holidays, three couples at different stages of their lives traverse significant life-turning moments at Seven Cherry Lane. Mm-hmm. Well, sounds so simple. It, it, it sounds simple. Quite simple. Yeah. So what do we think? You know, I never thought I would need to rewatch a Hallmark movie. Not want, but need to rewatch a Hallmark movie out of, out of necessity to understand the basic premise of the story in a Hallmark movie. I mean, it's never happened before. It's not like difficult by any means to understand. It's just that. The connections between the three households were kind of random, I think. And I'm still just a bit bewildered about the connectedness of the families. So, like, let's just go through some of them just to see, like, if I understood. So the daughter in the 90s, Winnie, is now a singer and owns the restaurant that Jonathan Bennett's character works at as a chef in the 2023 time. Ivy is the baby from the 70s timeline, and now she's friends with the son in the 90s timeline, Conrad, and ends up fostering one of the husbands from the 2023 timeline. And then Conrad, the son from the 90s timeline, ends up with the same car as John from the 70s timeline. Look, here's the thing, none of that matters. None well, of the connections, none of the connections were important at all. Uh, it the, was the, the basic only reason this was even slightly confusing is because the character development for those pieces was kind of weak. Well, sure. With 90% of the cast. I, I think we can skip talking about all these connections. The whole movie was about connections. It wasn't, but none of them none of them were important to the overall story whatsoever. They I were just like, oh, that. that's nice, or oh, it was him. It was, like, it was the whole story. It wasn't. It, it was how all the these stories, three... The stories were three different time periods. Them being connected is just like, Whoa. That was the exciting nothing. twist. Yeah, but it wasn't exciting. There was there's nothing exciting about well, it. Well, the intent it was, cool. was to I, be... I think, I think they did a good job with it, and yes, I think maybe they threw too much in there, but well, that's having what I three mean. generations of simultaneous storylines was more than enough without all the extra stuff trying to jam in connecting them. It really just clouded it up. I, I get it, you're going for the This Is Us vibe, and they totally, they totally captured it, but this that was a full season of television. They tried to cram in just as many plot events into an hour and a half. There's like, you know, two sets of new babies, the selling the house, and like, oh, mom's got a new boyfriend, he's gonna Mary Ann, yes, like, there was so a lot going on. There was just too much going on to make anything stand out. Okay, look, I applaud the intent and the attempt to have a fresh story idea. We definitely don't see this kind of story very often. No, okay, it, it, granted. It was, um, they definitely, and for the they most definitely part, did it. For the most part, I was engaged, mm. but not really in the nuanced details of each storyline, but rather in how everything is connected. That's why I was so fixated on the connection, because I was trying to figure out the I, connection. I know, but when, when it all was said and done at the end, none of the connections really mattered. None yes, the, but I didn't the, realize the, that the until ones, the end. The ones that were surprises were like, oh, it wasn't actually that, it was just that was his Uncle Ham, like, who cares? <laughs> it's just yeah, but by the end of it, you're like, okay, fine, maybe that wasn't worth this kind of like, Yeah, I don't know. The stories, the stories journey, were fine but, on their own. There was annoying mm, stuff in all of them. They were pretty weak. I would say they were pretty weak yeah, and, and trying to connect. Without the connections, I wasn't engaged at all. Trying to connect, interested. like somebody that like you know fostered you for like two days at Christmas, like but 30 what I'm years saying ago. is, like, it's just so. Empty. What I'm saying, without the connections, it's just like three vignettes of everyday life, which is fine. But I don't think those standalone stories were strong enough to warrant like a movie just about that. You needed the connect. You needed the twist, the connection, whatever it may be. Even though, fine, it didn't um, execute. They didn't execute it perfectly. But still, I think you needed that aspect of the story. Yeah, in order I mean, to be I, I was fine. With the, I was fine with the story, but every set of like reveal or plot twist, I was like, ah. Eh. Well, was, sure. It, I mean, it was either uh, you know. lackluster or just kind of tacked on. Sure, but that that doesn't deter from me trying to still figure out what was going on. Yeah, I just don't think it was hard to understand. 
Well, I mean, maybe I was tired and maybe I was one of those people who weren't no, paying I mean, attention a lot, as much a lot of people, as you should. Yeah, no, a lot of know? people were like, I just don't understand what's going on. Going maybe in at the and very out. beginning, like, you could be confused not knowing that there's three timelines until they, like, very plainly painted that for you with the... It was slightly confusing. It was slightly confusing. And I don't even know if it all gelled together in the end. I mean, I didn't I'm assuming hate it, it did. So. <laughs> I'm assuming it did. Anyway, it's a stellar cast, and they did predictably very well. They always do. I mean, we have, you know, quite a few Hallmark heavy hitters here, and they carry the story as best they can, and they do a good job, mostly. But I was getting annoyed at certain parts, like certain specific details. Firstly, the eldest son in the 90s household, Conrad. That guy's the worst. You know, he was <laughs> acting like such a baby. I mean, I get I was, it. That's I was trying like, to do the math at that point, and I was like, wait, wait, it was in 1999. I was like, how old is this? Like, is the, he at least 30? He was 25. 25. If he was born that... It's still not an excuse, I, I know. Think. I mean, it was annoying. He, he, you he, know, I get was, it. He was the second worst character. Like, change is hard. You're almost 30. You're 25. It's time to act like a grown-up. You know, people move on. People move out. People move on with their lives. Even your mother. She is a human being, after all. You know, everything can still be okay, too, if she does that. Yeah, big boo-hoos. Yeah. I mean, that was another thing I had a problem with. No one's problems in this movie are even slightly extraordinary. They're just simple problems. But that's and, what I mean about the Every timeline had people strong. treating like it was the end of the world. It was like, no, oh my god, no. relax. Everyone needs to just chill. But that's what I mean <laughs> by saying, like, each individual story wasn't strong enough to really stand on its own. You needed something else. You needed that, like, interesting, you know, connective kind of thread weaving through it, yeah, I think. I, I get it. That wasn't that, it for, that wasn't but, it for but me. That was, and it wasn't strong enough, but no. they tried, right? Yeah, they did. Another thing that annoyed me, the the caroling. You know, I love a good Christmas carol. Every time we see a Christmas carol in a movie and it makes our list, it's like, oh, wow, they did a Christmas carol. But I think it was just overused here. Who would have thought? It, it was actually kind of sweet. And the first time it happened, I was like, oh, that's nice. And then by the second time, I was like, oh, no. The shtick was getting very old. <laughs> All is bright. Come on. Well, young virgin mother and child. <laughs> I was done with it. Yeah. I was done with it. Um, as I said, you know, trying to figure out the connection was probably the best thing about this movie. That's what I think. Otherwise, I think this just fell flat for me, and it kind of meandered on towards this like lackluster ending. I don't know. I, I mean, at least the, all all the things ended, and they all had re resolution. Like uh, I, they I, I'll did. give it that. But yeah, but for was me, it worth the journey? No, yeah, I think all that stuff is just extra, so. and it was just it was you know, tacked on, like I said. Let's get a little techie here. I love this. I also think there was a missed opportunity by the director, I think, uh, to really play with scene structure, editing, transitions. You know, there's a show on HBO called The Staircase with Tony Collette, uh, Colin Firth, I believe his name. The show, it shows the same house over a period of time. And I don't know, maybe it's a flashback. I'm not too sure. Either way. And I think the same technique would have been so cool here and I think would have worked beautifully. You can do it with different people. I know the clip shows the same person in the different timelines, but I just mean that same idea or being inspired by that idea. Play with framing, play with structure, play with transition, definitely play with editing. You know, take some risks, Homer. It's not even that risky. I mean, yeah. if, you're, if you're willing to play so much with story structure, as we see here, with all these different timelines and the connections and yada yada, then also play with um, the framing of the movie, I, I think. think I think right? it would have worked, and if they didn't have like 45 cast members, might have been doable, uh, but they it's were- It's all in the editing. You could do it in the editing room, Room, and I think it was a missed opportunity. Yeah, they, they didn't feature the house or the street. Like, the house should have been another character in the movie. Yeah. But let's be honest, like I said, there's no room for any more characters. I guess not, but that's true. The house was a character, it really was. It should have been featured more, and they should have shown how it changed over time. It made it more apparent anyway. I'm sure you could see it in the background, but... As we said, this is not a movie to watch if you are tired easily distracted or just half in and out or like on your phone. Yeah, you definitely have to pay attention, but yeah. that, again, that's a strike against the movie. It could have been a lot easier to watch and just pleasant. However, one thing I can't argue with is some good performances. Let's so get to performances. Let's do that. Uh, I think everyone in the cast here was good, you know, with the exception of the son in the 90s household, as we've mentioned. I mean, I mean sorry, nothing he against him. He turned him. around. He was fine. The actor, I was just the if character If he was supposed was to be a so petulant annoying. child, the actor played him well. So, yeah. yes. Anyway, my standout here is Catherine Bell. 
Um, she had so much patience with her son. <laughs> it looked um, like she wanted to slap him a few times. I was like, you oh my what? God, is he singing? I like her on screen. She's so kind of like ethereal. She's like calm and emotional Yeah, she's very times. good. I like her a lot. Uh, but she was also like, she kept it in check when she needed to. And she also held firm on her decision to move on with her life, which I really respected. I just like her. She's very mature. Not nothing over the top. Very gentle. Very soothing. Very calming to watch on screen. Yep. I really like her. Good witch. Good, yeah, the good witch. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's lots, lots to choose from here, but I mean, my standout is John Brotherton. Mm -hmm. uh, I love that dude. Yeah, you do. And, and he was the perfect choice for the '70s. Like he, he, he was the only one that looked proper. He looked, uh, yeah, very good. He looks good. Yeah. All right, let's head to nitpicky, hit picky. Let's do it. All right, knit. knit. The contractor. Quinn was his name. Yeah, something like that. What? I hated that character. How is he still in business? So many mistakes and like, talk about getting down to the wire when he was supposed to get the job done. On Christmas Eve too? Come on, that that wouldn't happen. That, There'd be no contractor, there, would there? No, it's so stupid. I just don't understand that character. Was the, <laughs> was the he supposed to reflect the annoyance and worry of them about to he become new parents? To, yeah, he was supposed to like, cause Jonathan Bennett to be stressed. He was there for six months and he did nothing? That's no. just as much those two's fault. Like, he was the tension for Jonathan Bennett's character. It, it, it was so stupid. And <laughs> on that note, the other knit, worst kitchen ever. Oh, the really? only room that we got to see real multiple versions of was that kitchen and it was crap every yeah. single time, like including the main timeline that is a chef who's currently renovating that kitchen. Like, super fail. Knock a wall What down. didn't you Do like something. about the like, kitchen? It was too small? It's way too small. It's like, like okay, that. so they should have knocked down a wall if they're renovating. Something. Right? Anything. It was just okay. terrible. Uh, knit. How did John Brotherton, his character, know that apparently a window was smashed in in his shop? We heard the phone conversation, even the other side of that phone conversation of what that cop was saying, and he didn't mention anything about a window being smashed. So I think that was like a, uh, you know, script supervisor should have been on that, and there was a continuity error. I mean, there. That, that's a huge continuity error. There wasn't even a cut between the phone call where no. we could hear every single word, it's and like, then bye. the new information he had as soon as he hung up the phone. Yeah, like, yeah. John Hamilton? What? There's been a break-in at your station. You should get over there. We'll send a cruiser. Okay. Um, thank you. I will be right there. All right. What happened? There was a break-in at the station. Oh, no, that's terrible. Was anything taken? Yeah, I don't know. I gotta go find out. Right now? Yeah. John, it's Christmas Eve. I know. Apparently, there's a window smashed in. I can't leave it like that. <laughs> oh, oh, and there was a window smash. I was like, what? It's like, oh, what? how did you know that? Where did, did you get it. That? Where did you get that information? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hint. I loved seeing the Good Witch reunion. Yeah, James Denton. And Catherine Bell, husband and wife, together again. I love a good, 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 good witch reunion. A good, I liked, good witch I liked that show. It was very cozy, very comforting, so I liked to see them both on screen together. Yeah, that was nice. Yep. All right, you want to pull down that list? Get her. Oh, no, I hit your face. A Christmas party or gathering? Yes, multiple. Mm -hmm. Ice skating? No. Tree decorating or picking out the perfect tree? Yes, there was some was tree that? decorating. He, well, Jonathan Bennett oh, yeah, right. redecorated the tree redecorated. when it. his husband went out and bought stuff. Uh, Santa. I didn't see a Santa. Did we miss this? Let us know. No, I, don't we know. Didn't. I didn't we, see a Santa. I didn't know. A hot beverage. We, we've missed we this seem to before, always miss this. No, but they but kept talking about it, and I don't think it ever actually, actually happened on saw. screen. So again, no. I, if I, we missed it, let us know. I don't think so, though. I don't think <laughs> I saw it. That was not the thing we missed. No. A snowball fight or a snowman? No. Christmas market. Oh. No, you're a Christmas carol. Yes, and one too many. Annoying. I thought I'd never say that, but in this well, one, it was overused. Weird. For sure. Mistletoe kiss. No. No, but multiple kisses throughout, actually. Yeah, I thought we were going to have to dust off the uh, kiss counter, but they stopped at like three or four. Yeah, I think it was four. Mm -hmm. Character obsessed with Christmas. No. I don't think so. Not a lot of Christmas vibes in this, surprisingly. Not really. Not really. You know what? That should have been another no. criticism, but holiday tradition. Well, I think the holiday tradition is living in that house. Yeah. <laughs> this is about it. Yeah. Oh, also the 90s household had some traditions, like doing that gift oh, yeah, wrapping yeah. thing I that's like the blindfolded. That's and Catherine Bell, like, killed it in that. Oh, okay. um, and Christmas magic. No. No. Four. Bum, bum, Pretty bad. Bum. Pretty low. Although a low score on the list doesn't necessarily mean a bad movie by any means. No, but it does mean less Christmas. Less Christmas vibes, for sure. All right, bring yeah. up the... All right, I'll do them here. Oh, I've got it. Good face. I am going to give 
Christmas on Cherry Lane. Six geese a land. Uh, and I am going to give Christmas on Cherry Lane also six geese a land. Oh, we got that. We did the same. Yeah, I mean. That's actually I, higher than I, I. I was debating between five golden rings or six geese. Yeah, no, I couldn't. It's I couldn't, a bit better. I couldn't I call the cast. it. A, I couldn't call it a miss no. it, with with the cast. Yeah, it was like it's a okay, very very low. There's definitely hit. some story miss and other miss. But you know, lots of but kudos lots of good. for Hallmark for taking a risk on an unconventional story, multiple storylines. Mm -hmm. Kudos to a great cast, some heavy hitters in there, as we said. For sure. So you know, a slow, sorry, a low hit, a low hit. Fair. Very low. But let us know what you thought. Where would you put it on the Christmas meter? Let us know in the comments below. We will see you very soon as we wind down all these reviews. Only like three more. I think. Wow, that's crazy. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you very soon. Until next episode. Bye.